Hello friends, today we will orient you to the aptitude test named as Tamanna, an aptitude test for senior school students. Individual variations are common within and across all species in terms of physical characteristics such as height, weight, strength, hair color and so on. Individuals also vary along psychological dimensions such as interest, ability, personality, motivation, etc. Different aspects play different role in the success of an individual's life. A number of factors such as their interests, attitudes, motivation, personality traits and special abilities which is known as aptitude influence the decision of students in selecting stream or career choice. Different occupations need different sets of abilities. For example, to be a successful architect, one requires a set of abilities such as a keen sense of observation, a sense of visual memory, ability to sketch freehand, etc. A student having these sets of abilities is an having an advantage and is likely to perform well in this occupation. Thus, knowing one's aptitude may help her or him to make informed career which is educational and occupational choices. Let us now understand how knowledge of a student's aptitude helps in different areas and decisions. It helps students to understand and make subject choices in relation to the identified special abilities. It also helps them to explore career pathways related to their specifically high aptitude. At senior secondary stage, this will help students to reaffirm their attitude and explore if they want to continue with their chosen course of study or seek. Relook at their occupational aspirations, goals in line with their specific aptitude and review their efforts to achieve desired academic and occupational goals. Now, let us see what this aptitude test is all about. This aptitude test has one test booklet which has seven subtests, one guide for the teachers which tells how teachers should use this test and a manual where you can find all the details of how the test has been developed, standardization, norms, etc. Now, we will go through with the different subtest. Number one subtest is language aptitude, which is the ability to draw meaning from written words and use them effectively. Language aptitude subtest is divided into three sections, which measure the student's ability to know. Let us see one of the example. Language aptitude, which has meaning of words, for example, memorable. Four options are given, student has to select the right option given. Second, there are four spellings which may not be correct. Out of four, one is correct and the student has to select which one is correct example. Third is the correct meaning of the proverb, idiom for example, cry over spilled milk. There are four options, the student has to choose which one is the right meaning for the proverb. Language aptitude helps and is required for some of the following courses and occupations. English, social sciences, teaching, journalism and media studies, advertising, law, library sciences, etc. Now, we will look at the second subtest which is abstract reasoning. Abstract reasoning is the ability to understand patterns, diagrams or designs and draw meaning from them. It reveals how well a student can reason, extract rules, find underlying logic in the pattern of symbols or shapes. In abstract reasoning subtest, each item consists of a set of figures and patterns which are in a certain sequence. The student is asked to find the next figure or pattern in the series. It is a non-verbal subtest which means does not require 
language. Let us see one of the example. As you can see abstract reasoning, for example, there is a problem figure given and answer figures are given. In problem figure, in bigger box, there are four smaller box with a dot. The dot is moving from left to bottom left, then bottom right and right up. Now, student has to find out where the dot will move in the next sequence from answer figures. Abstract reasoning helps and is required for some of the following courses and occupation such as mathematics, economics, physics, chemistry, computer science, biotechnology, computer programming, architecture, medicine, mechanics, forensic science, etc. Now, we will see the third subtest which is verbal reasoning. Verbal reasoning is the ability to solve problems by understanding the meaning and ideas framed in words or the written information. In verbal reasoning subtest, the individual is expected to understand the relationship between paired words and apply it to other relationship. Let us see one of the example. In verbal reasoning, example x, water is to tank as money is to dash. Student has to find out out of four option which one will be the right answer. Example y, dash is to red as earth is to dash. Here answer is A, Mars and blue as Mars is to red and earth is to blue. Verbal reasoning helps and is required for some of the following courses and occupations such as languages, social sciences, science, psychology, journalism, business, law, public relations, marketing, advertising, linguistic and administrative services etc. Now, we will look at the fourth subtest which is mechanical reasoning. Mechanical reasoning is the ability to apply reasoning in the practical environment using basic concepts in mechanics. In mechanical reasoning subtest, items are related to acceleration, pressure, energy, transformation, work and power, levers, pulleys, screws, springs, tools, etc. Let us see one of the example. In mechanical reasoning, we have given example x. A wooden block is pushed upwards by applying force as shown in figure A, B and C. In which figure the force needed to be applied would be maximum? We have given four options figure A, figure B, figure C equal force in all situations. Mechanical reasoning helps and is required for some of the following courses and occupations physics, chemistry, engineering and other technical skill oriented occupations such as carpentry, masonry, plumbing etc. Now, we will look at the fifth subtest of the Kya test which is numerical aptitude. Numerical aptitude is the ability to perform mathematical operations quickly and correctly. Numerical aptitude subtest involves primary arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division and other mathematical operations like ratio, percentage, square and square root. For example, as you can see on the screen numerical aptitude, we have given one example x. What will come in place of question mark in the following question? 4, 6, 5, 6 you will add to 1, 2, double 4 is equal to out of 4 option student has to select which one is the right one. We have given example y. What is the value of 5 times of square of 2? Option A 10, B 20, C 4, D 16. Numerical aptitude 
helps and is required for some of the following courses and occupations such as mathematics, economics, accountancy, computer sciences, statistics, engineering, architecture, computer applications, etc. Now, we will look at the next subtest which is spatial aptitude. It is the ability to imagine an object in space and decide how will it look like when rotated in a given direction. In spatial aptitude subtest, the student is asked to identify how the figure will look like when seen through a mirror or rotated or when folded in a particular way. Let us see one of the example. As you can see on the screen, spatial aptitude, we have given example x. Find out which options A, B, C and D from the answer figure has parts that can make the problem figure. As you can see in the box, on left hand side, there is a figure given. On the right hand side, there are four options A, B, C and D. Student has to select out of which option all the parts will make the problem figure. Special aptitude helps and required for some of the following courses and occupations such as visual and performing arts, geometry, geography, drafting, architecture, astronomy, animation, designing, photography, etc. Now, we will look at the last subtest which is perceptual aptitude. Perceptual aptitude is the ability to compare visual information like letters, numbers or combination of letters and numbers quickly and accurately. In perceptual aptitude subtest, student is asked to compare the paired group of letters or numbers or combination of letters and numbers and identify the similarity or differences. For example, as you can see on the screen, perceptual aptitude, we have given example x. You can see a number in bold letters that is 3, 9, 4, 6, 1, 0, 8, 4. Out of 4 options, student has to find out which one is similar number and given the right option. Perceptual aptitude helps and is required for some of the following courses and occupations such as data entry operations, clerical and secretaryship, assembly work, banking, proof reading, computer programming, record keeping, accountancy, etc. As a teacher, before conducting the test, kindly ensure you become familiar with the test manual and take the test yourself before administering it to students in order to understand it better. You should be well versed with the standardized instructions which include the exact materials used, time limit, oral instruction to students, preliminary demonstration, ways of handling queries from students and other possible details of the testing situation. You should review specific directions and procedures one last time immediately before the test begins. You should explain the purpose of the test to students to minimize the cheating and bringing out the best of the individual student. Do proper invisilation, show non-threatening verbal and non-verbal behavior which help to increase the student's interest in the test. Elicit their cooperation and encourage them to respond in a manner appropriate to the objectives of the test. You should follow the instructions as fully and meticulously as you can. Now, let us familiarize ourselves with the test materials required to administer Tamanna aptitude test. The test booklet is having all the seven subtests which you have seen just now. These test booklets are reusable. In case any marking on them is noticed, erase them. If the marks or writing cannot be erased, the test booklets should be discarded. 
before distributing the booklets ensure that the students do not mark anything on the booklet. This is the test booklet including seven subtests. There should be no mark put by students on this. Answers have to be marked on the separate answer sheets provided with the test booklets. Sample of the answer sheet is given in appendix 1. Handle the answer sheets with care and do not fold or let them get torn. This is the answer sheet where students will mark their answers. You see the test material includes one test booklet, two answer sheets, three pencils, four scoring key or stencil and Tamanna. aptitude test report sheet. Scoring key in the form of stencils which is given in appendix 2 are provided for scoring by hand. Showing the stencils. This report sheet is to consolidate the information of a student with respect to her or his score on different subtest and prepare the aptitude profile. Sample report sheet is given in appendix 3. Based on this information, suggestions are given about courses of study and occupations so that the students can make optimal use of the results obtained on Tamanna aptitude test. Showing the Tamanna aptitude test report sheet which is given on page number 16 of guide for teachers. Before understanding about the procedure of administration and scoring, let us go through some important points to keep in mind. Number 1. Before the test, tell students about its importance so that they are motivated to do their best and do not look into others sheet or cheat or worry about their performance if they do not know the answer. Second, emphasize that to know their strength, students have to attempt as many questions as possible within the time limit and honestly. However, there is no pass or fail in this test. Number 3. Each subtest is of 10 minutes duration. So, the total time for taking all the 7 subtest is about 70 minutes. Number 4. Adhere to the time duration mentioned on the booklet. The specific and detailed instructions are given on the booklet of each subtest. Number 5. Inform students that for each item only one correct response need to be marked. Items having more than one response will not be scored. Test administration and scoring. How to administer Tamanna aptitude test? We will go through with the procedure. Prepare well in advance and get familiar with the test, name and duration of the subtest and testing material. We ensure that you have sufficient number of test booklets and answer sheets for all students who will take the aptitude test. Schedule the administration of the test when students are likely to be fresh and alert. The room is well lighted, ventilated and has minimum distractions and interruptions and comfortable sitting. Seating arrangements should be such that students do not copy. Distribute answer sheets and ask the students to write their name, class, gender and school on their answer sheets in the space mentioned. After that, distribute the test booklet once they write the above in loud and clear voice say, do not put any mark on the test booklet. All writing is to be done on the answer sheet. For any calculation or rough work, you may use separate sheet provided. Read the instructions given on booklet loudly, clearly and slowly. Ask the students to read silently along with you. For each test, say, as I read the instructions loudly, you also read them silently to yourselves. Give pause after reading the example. Let them attempt the practice item to make them familiar with the nature of items of the subtest. After giving the instruction, 
ask the students is there any doubt or question before you begin after ensuring that students have understood the instructions clearly ask them to start attempting the subtest by saying in a loud and firm voice turn the page and start it's important to note here that time is an important part to check in an aptitude test as soon as the students begin start recording the time when the time is up announce in a firm and loud voice stop put your pencils down and do not attempt any more items ensure that the instruction do not start the next test until you are told to do so is given in the booklet followed strictly to ensure continued interest of the students and to avoid fatigue monotony and boredom a short break of 10 15 minutes can be given after the first four sub tests have been completed when all the sub tests are complete ask all students to hand over the test booklet and their answer sheets before starting to score the answer sheets ensure that students have marked only one answer for each item on their answer sheets exclude any such answer sheets which shows an obvious answer pattern such as all a option is marked or a and b are alternatively marked etc this indicates casual approach of the student now we'll look at how to score the scoring key which is stencil is given in appendix 2 is to be used to score the student responses place this stencil on the answer sheet count the number of correct responses marked by the student as shown in the stencil for a sub test this gives us the total score on that particular sub test now count the correct responses separately for all the sub tests the score on all seven sub tests for a student will be obtained to know how a student has performed on different sub tests of aptitude you need to have an estimate of his or her standing among students of same class the total score obtained on each sub test will become meaningful only when converted to a standard score understanding the meaning of tamanna test score a standard score which is called the stand score is in the range of 1 to 10 and are given as norms tables in appendix 4 for class 9th and appendix 5 for class 10 students to convert the score obtained on a particular sub test into stand score consult the relevant norm table depending on the class to which the student belongs for class 9th this is the table for class 10th the table is on page 18 record in tamanna aptitude test report sheet which is given in appendix 3 the student score on all sub tests is corresponding to stan score and description of stan score given in appendix 6 plot the stan score obtained on the seven sub test on the graph given in the aptitude test report sheet now identify those aptitudes in which the student has scored high this can be clearly seen in the aptitude test report sheet this is the aptitude test report sheet high aptitude in a sub test may be used to facilitate exploring of courses and occupations related to that particular aptitude suggestions and remarks need to be used on students performance in these sub tests aptitudes of the aptitude test remember many students may not score high on any of the seven sub tests this does not mean that they lack ability or strength and cannot pursue further education or training courses to make a career such students need assistance or opportunities to understand themselves through self exploration and encouraging participation in various school activities of their interest 
in addition to subject of their study. Accordingly, she or he needs assistance in knowing future courses and occupation to make the best suitable career choice. To help such students, educational and career planning sessions may be organized and may also be referred for career counseling or for counseling to school counselors. Let us now see how to understand the performance of Manju, a girl studying in class 9th in one of the schools. An example to score, record and explain test results is shown. Steps Number 1. Fill in the detail of the student in aptitude test report sheet which is given in appendix 3. Number 2. Calculate the score obtained on the first subtest that is LA language aptitude subtest by counting all the correct responses using the scoring key or stencil. Let us assume that the total right responses or score of Manju is 15 on LA. Now convert score 15 to standard score by referring to norm table for class 9th girls which is given in appendix 4. As can be seen score of 15 on LA falls in stand 5. Therefore, Manju's stand score on language aptitude is 5. Check the description table given in appendix 6 to understand the meaning of this standard score. The stand score of 5 on LA subtest indicates that her performance is in average range. Record on aptitude test report sheet the obtained score that is 15, corresponding stand score that is 5, description of stand score specific to LA subtest that is average. Step 6. Now for the remaining subtests, let us assume that Manju has scored 27 in AR, 25 in VR, 6 in MR, 19 in NA, 11 in SA and 43 in PA. Repeat the steps 3 to 5 for the remaining subtest. Step 7. Plot stand scores on the graph. Step 8. Identify those subtests or aptitudes in which Manju has scored high. Step 9. Based on Manju's performance, offer suggestion or remarks. For example, since Manju's score or profile indicates high aptitude for abstract reasoning and numerical reasoning, she is likely to do well in subjects like computer science, economics, mathematics, accountancy, graphics, graphic design, psychology, legal study, etc. Depending on her interest and inclination, she may explore courses and occupations related to computers, graphics, animation, accountancy, pharmacy, marketing, research, financial or economic analysis, law, social work, psychotherapist, public relations, etc. Wish you all the best. Thank you.